Yo, Aguan is that guy. A little update on the back of my head, you know. A lot of people might wonder if it's ever worth growing in the sides and the back if they're shaved down and the rest of your head is long locks. Definitely is worthwhile. Check out the adventure and the journey that these freeform locks are going on at the back. Kind of resembles my brother's hair at this point where he's getting one big Congo happening and it seems to be the same situation over here. So as usual, no separation, just straight up free forming, let them Congos come in. There seems to already be about seven or eight dreads, but they are coming together into one big natty. So very unique little journey at the back of my head. I've been having a lot of fun this spring, just chilling, doing some hikes, uh, playing with some slow motion video. This is just a video of a quartz uh, kind of uh, ornament that reflects and refracts the light in unique ways and uh, we've been doing a lot of hikes this spring as i've said i don't know what it is but i find things like this very mesmerizing to film very hypnotizing uh, there has been a last final blast of winter weather that has been coming around here in canada uh, so captured some snowfalls down by the river some slow motion kind of make it uh, a very serene environment and as I was driving home one day from work, I did stumble upon this valley with some fresh snowfall. Kind of odd for it to happen in April. This was actually the first day of spring. Nonetheless, quite the beautiful scene. You know, I love getting in touch and staying grounded in nature, taking the time to appreciate the serenity that is available around us. How do you guys get involved in the winter activities? And, or even as a dreadhead, what ways do you stay grounded and appreciative of nature? I would love to know your situations and your passions down below. Until next time, we'll see you guys around. Not Nation, I'm out.